All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 169. All right. So now we can write the logic to run in the loop. Inside our for loop, we're going to use the plus equals operator to add to the end of text.inner text. We're going to add the number at, pardon me, yeah, we're going to add the number at index i of the numbers array using numbers at i. And then we're going to add a new line using the escape sequence we used earlier. So this thing right here, all right? So, oh, oh. Let's do what they say and then we'll go over what it what it means, right? Uh, so we're gonna start off by saying text.inner text plus equals. So let's just take this right here, copy that, drop it off, and then say plus equals after it. And what we're gonna do is put this uh, numbers, where was it? Numbers at i right here. So numbers at i, all right? And then we're gonna also add to the end of that, the string, with the escape character, with, pardon me, with the uh, line break or escape in. That, that's what we call it is the line break, all right? Uh, so there, there's a way to visualize this, all right? So first things first, I didn't, I didn't do this on the while loop one, uh, I totally forgot, but we can, we can actually visualize this thing right here. So let's do a console.log while, while we're inside the while loop and we'll say numbers, all right? Console.log numbers. That's not how you spell it. Uh, numbers, right? And so when we run pick, let's run pick down here, pick, all right? Like that. So we see this first. When we open up the console, we can see that the while loop is being built like this. This is the first iteration. It go, it puts the nine in there, and then it puts the three in there, then the four, then the nine, then the six, then the six, then the three, then the six, then the three, then the six, all right? And remember, these are random, so it'll change every, it'll change up every time we redo it, right? So there is ch change right there again, all right? So that's basically what's happening with the while loop. Now let's get rid of this thing because that's a little much uh, to look at. So we know what's going on there. So now let's do a console.log numbers like this, right? So now we've got this right here and you can see that we put the, uh, according to this thing, uh, the first thing is numbers at i, right? So numbers at zero. So numbers at zero is going to be the eight. So we slap the numbers at, we put the eight there, and then we also add the line break. So this goes to the next line, which is the seven, right? So we put the seven, which is numbers at one, because we did i plus plus. So now i now equals one, all right? And uh, actually, why don't we, and then while we're at it, let's say uh, console.log i, all right? you see it's going through like this. And of course this changed again because it's uh, random, but you see I is zero, then I is one, then I is two, then I is three, and then I is four, I is five, I, I is six. So we're putting the six, the w six in first, the one in, then the zero, then we're gonna throw the four in, then we're gonna throw the seven in, then the one in. And that's, that's this is how the loop's working, you know? Uh, that's pretty much exactly what's going on. So there's some ways to visualize it right there. Uh, let's, let me just do this like one more time. Console.log uh, numbers. You know, and you can just look at it. Look at it all day. So that's exactly what's happening. So here's the here's numbers after the last one. And then this one here, this second, uh, the second, re this repeat of this is this console.log. And then this is the, uh, and then this is each I right here. Once we do a console.log inside of the for loop, that's all of these. And then once we do the pick, that's what this thing is, all right? That's what this thing is once we run it, right? So that's basically it. When we take care, when we take away this thing, all this stuff goes away because we didn't run the, the uh, code, right? So that's basically how that goes. Uh, it might be confusing. But trust me, we're going to be using this thing a lot because this is how you go through arrays. I mean, there's other ways to go through arrays, but this is the bare, this is the guts of how to go through arrays and also to go through strings and other iterables, right? So let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit. All right. Now we're on to step 170. And we'll see you next time.